Ni hao everyone, welcome back to a non-gaming video. I thought I'd share what I did with my G915 keyboard. I thought that maybe some of you out there are thinking about it, thought about it, and just need a visual example. So let me tell you how this came to be. I love the typing experience of the G915. I think it's one of the best that I've tried. It's just fantastic but it has a major flaw and a minor annoyance. If you got the black version, then you know how difficult it is to see the keys when the lights are not on. So whenever you're about to start typing again after a while and the keys are off, that kind of initial having to pay attention to where the keys are is pretty annoying. I learned to live with it over the years, but nevertheless, it's still annoying. Then the minor annoyance is the micro USB. It's the only device that I have still rocking micro USB. So I have to have an extra cable just for this keyboard alone. Because I had this keyboard for a few years already, a little bit of wear and tear starting to show. I have one of the keys that the paint started to chip. So maybe it's a good time to get a new keyboard. And I went and I bought the Razer Deathstalker 2. I think it's the Deathstalker Pro 2 or, or, or something like that. Very similar, 10 keyless, low profile keyboard. I had a great experience with the Razer Naga V2 Pro. So I thought, well, maybe let's transition everything to Razer. Well, that was a pretty big mistake. That was quite a disappointment. I was basically paying $200 to trade one set of problems for another set of problems. And the problems from the Razer keyboard were harder to live with on a day-to-day -day basis. And mostly it was the typing experience. I found myself mistyping more often on the Razer keyboard because of the shape of the keycaps. The surface was slightly narrower, more concave. And then there was the battery life. The battery life on the Deathstalker was just so much worse than the G915. It was very noticeable and usually Batteries on keyboards are pretty good, but well, not that one. Now, I'm not saying that the Deathstalker keyboard is worse than the G915. What I'm trying to say is neither one is perfect. If you got the Deathstalker first, you'll be fine. You're not gonna feel any difference. It's gonna be perfectly fine. But if you're someone who used the G915 and then you go to the Deathstalker, then you're gonna notice a big difference in the typing experience. At least for me, that was the situation. So I ended up returning the Razer and instead I thought, well, let's just get brand new keycaps. I went to Logitech, they sell replacement parts. They just do not sell replacement keycaps. I guess they just want you to buy a new keyboard. So I went on Amazon and I just found a few for 40 bucks. And instead of going with the black ones, I decided, well, let's go with the white ones and see how it turns out. Because I read that the white version doesn't have the same legibility problem as the black version. So, and it turned out pretty decent, I think. I did try changing all of them, all the keys to white, and I didn't quite like the look, mostly because the media keys were still black and having the rest white, it didn't quite fit. I know you can change those too, but that's a little bit too much work for me, having to open the entire keyboard to replace the media key as well. Uh, it's just a little bit more than what I'm willing to do. So I kind of just did this dual color, black and white type of things. I basically replaced all the keys that I use the most often to white and leave the rest in black. And it was really easy. Uh, it came with a tool, but I didn't use the tool. I just used my fingers because I'm really good with my fingers. Diggity. It's been already two months. The keys are holding up pretty well. So I'm hoping they will last at least a year or two. It should not be a problem, hopefully. And doing this thing actually had a positive side effect. Because the keys are white, I find out that having LED on as well on the white keys, it was a little bit less pleasing to the eyes. So I ended up turning it all off on the white keys and just having white LEDs on the black keys. And uh, I think I like the look. And then on top of that, because most of the lights are off now, 
I get a bump on battery life. So I think it was a pretty good decision. I'll put the link in the description for those who are interested. 40 bucks with taxes, everything came out under 50. The first order of keycaps from Amazon, there were too many keys with manufacturing defects, paint defects and things like that. So I ended up returning that one. And the second order, when it arrived, it was actually mostly good. I only found like a, maybe one or two keys that had a defect, but they happen to be the one that I'm not using. So everything's cool. Uh, so keep that in mind. So yeah, if you have a G915, a black version, and you're thinking about changing the keycaps, whether because they're getting old or because of the eligibility issue, um, highly recommend it. You know, you, there's an example here of what it looks with a dual color scheme. So yeah, I thought I'd share. I hope this helps someone, you know, make with the decision. And then lastly, this is mainly a gaming channel, but I occasionally like to make some tech videos here and there whenever I buy new things and things like that. So if you're cool with that, you know, give me a like, give me a sub. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll catch you maybe in the next video.